Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Today, Sasha and me, let's gonna practice with you the yoga practice. Let's gonna do fun stuff. Let's gonna stretch your body. And how was this school today? For me, it was good. Good, okay. You feel like something in your shoulders, in your neck, like tired? Yeah, okay. So that's when I it. had to look at my desk and my people, my neck always goes down. So it really hurt in my Yeah, this is why it's important to stretch out your body. That's gonna start like always in cross neck position. That's gonna close your eyes, belly in, elongate your spine, sit very tall, and only start to inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale. Inhale deep into your nose. And exhale. Continue, inhale. And exhale. And start to observe your body. How do you feel? Only with a few breathing exercise. You're going to start to feel like a little more quiet, a little more balanced. With inhalation, with exhalation. And like always, you just want to start with gratitude. You're going to place your hands over your heart, right over left. And just want to start to feel gratitude for all this stuff that you have in your life, for be here, for your school, parents, friends, sister, brothers, pets. Healthy for your food, for your home. And now, I just want to place your hands in your mudra close to your chest and just want to make a positive intention for the practice, a beautiful intention. And you can share this intention or this beautiful energy with the world. You can send a lot of love to the world, to your family, friends. Or to yourself. Or we send love. Do a positive intention. And continue in here and set for your nose. With inhalation, with exhalation. And it's going to start the practice chanting one on together. That's when I inhale deeply. Oh. Inhale deeply and you can start warming up your body. It's going to start moving your shoulders up and back like a big circle. Up and down, up and Inhale and Exhale, in inhalation, in exhalation. Remember, it's very important when you sit, sit tall, elongate all your spine because it's the energy coming from the base of your back until your front. Energy, okay? You need to try to sit straight, continue so moving your shoulders back. And now you can move forward. Inhale and exhale. Deep inhalation, deep exhalation. And now let's gonna stretch our neck. Let's gonna start to bring yeah. your chin close to your chest. And let's go to your right side. Inhale and start to do big circles with your neck. Go back and slowly. Inhale. Very soft. One more. And now let's gonna switch direction, other side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Ah, let's stop. When your chin is coming down and bring your head up. Inhale here and it's gonna do the rainbow. Okay, it's gonna place your right hand on your mat and with your left hand you wanna draw like a half of rainbow. 
Bend your knee, bring your knee close to your chest. And here you're gonna start to extend your legs, extend, extend, extend. Good job. And you wanna feel all the tension in your okay, hands. Okay, so I don't want so. Inhale and exhale. Oh, I'm not so good on this one. <laughs> good job. You're doing okay. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Ah, very slowly. Let's go now. Really. Change your legs. And now, it's gonna warm it up like you have a twins. It's gonna Ooh. look like we have a baby. Okay? One baby, other baby. It's gonna take, have one baby, you need to take like a, your baby. Name your baby. And name your baby. What is your baby um, name? Uh, my baby's name is... Hmm? Okay. <laughs> uh, my my baby's name is gonna be uh Moon. Mooney. Like the moon. Ah, hola Mooney. Hi. You can give pieces for your baby. Pieces. And you can move side to side. Side to side. And then it's set and open your chest. Good job. Good, Good baby. You can do it. Because they your face, because they don't think of, you know, very soon. And it's gonna take the other baby. And you can carry your baby. And move side to side. You can give pieces for your baby. And you can name your baby. What is your baby? This one is named Sunny. Sunny. Moony and Sunny. Moony and Sunny. Good job. Nice, move your baby. Inhale and exhale. Inhalation. Deep exhalation. Deep inhalation, deep exhalation. And you can place your baby. <laughs> well, I, have, I think they have poop in there. Let's wanna change the diaper, okay? Take your mat. Like Sasha, good job. Ah, let's gonna do change the diaper like three times. Inhale and exhale. And let's gonna change the diaper. How many times are we gonna change this diaper? Ten times. Let's gonna do okay. inhale and start. Change the diaper one. Change the diaper two. Change the diaper three. Change the diaper four. Change the diaper five. Change the diaper six. Change the diaper seven. Change the diaper eight. Change the diaper nine. Change the diaper ten. Good job. Now it smells so much more better. <laughs> nice. Now you can shake your legs, shake, 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 and you can place your hands up in your feet, small distance apart. And move side to side, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, deep inhalation, deep exhalation, good job. And now let's gonna do cat and cow. Okay, let's gonna put in hand and knee. Check that your wrist is underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. And when you inhale, you wanna look up. No, like a cow. Oh. And um, when you exhale, bring your chin down, belly in, like a scary cat. Mm. Inhale, move. Exhale, run your spine. Belly yeah. in. Bring your hand to the front. Okay. 
Perfect. You need to cross. If you bring your right foot back, you need to bring your left hand forward. You're not going to do this. The exact same. same one. You're just going to. And relax just your neck. Relax your neck. Inhale and exhale. A strong core. Find your balance. Good job. And it's going to switch. Bring your left foot back. Bring your right hand forward. Inhale and exhale. Belly in. Engage your core. Deep inhalation. Deep exhalation. Deep inhalation. Deep exhalation. A little more. Ah, good job. Now it's going to open your knees. Now this is apart. Bring your big toes together. And it's going to go for sharp pose. You need to place your elbows and money that you have. Kind of be sharp and you're going to bring over your head and you can move a little side to side. <laughs> like a sharp move, like you are swimming in the sea, in the ocean, in the cell. You're a fast sharp, deep inhalation, deep exhalation. And from here, let's gonna place your hands, hands and knee, drop your toes, and let's gonna do like a dog. Do like a dog, and you can move your tail side to side. Work, work. Inhale and exhale over work. your heels. Work. Deep inhalation, deep exhalation. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And now look to your hands, bend your knees, and you want to jump outside your hands. You're going to jump like to the front. Good job. Inhale. Go back for back. Good job. Inhale. Jump forward. Jump back. Inhale. Forward. Exhale. Inhale. Forward. Exhale. Back. Inhale, forward, exhale, back, two more. Inhale, forward, back, and forward, and stay here. Yogi squat. You need to place your hands together. Open your knees. Inhale and exhale. Make <laughs> sure you lost your balance. You need to come back in yogi squat. And in yogi squat, you need to lift your right heel off the mat, lift your right heel. Right heel off. Stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now your left heel off the mat for 10. Nine, Nine, eight, seven, seven six, five, four, four three, three, two, one. one. Now both. Yeah. Both, let's go. Ready? Ten. Nine, Nine eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, two, two one. one. The reason oh. why we're doing a lot of these. Yogi spots, one and then two, then both. It's because at it like when you are gonna do yoga for a very long time, this is gonna come out by learning how to do these, both. This is gonna come out. This is crow pose, but you need to have a lot of practice for it to do that, okay? So don't try it at home. Don't try it at home. You need to have practice, you need to practice a lot doing a squat. And try to keep your balance in your arms, okay? So, do not try it. Okay. Now, I think that we need to do for a stretch or hips and your back like a crab walk. So and we need to crab? move. You need to reach your hips up. I'll come back and show you something. And you need to start to walk around your space. Inhale and exhale. So you are not going to walk around, this is going to be on you. Don't let like, touch the ground. But uh, meanwhile, we have to do this. And you have to like move your hips side to side, or it can go to the other person next to you. So I'm going to put a little loose, and then whoop, it's going to go down, it's going to go down. So we're going to put it right Continue here. walking, walking, and lift your hips up. 
up, 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 up. Inhale and exhale. That's a challenge. Walk like a crab. Inhale and exhale. Good job. Here, the important is your hips need to be to go up. Higher, 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 higher. And you are working your shoulders. Water, so be careful. You can walk your shoulders, your hips, your glutes, your quads. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale and release. Relax. Let's go lay down in your back and bring your knees close to your chest. For relax your back. Move side to side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Move side to side. Deep inhalation, deep exhalation. Now let's wanna rock like. A few times, and then we will need to stand up without your hands. Okay, we're gonna rock five times, and then we're gonna stand up with our hands. So, one, two, three, four, and five. Stand up without your hands. Good job, nice work. Now let's going to do some balance pose, okay? Balance pose. We need to focus in one point in front of you, okay? Let's going to do the three pose. Nice. What do you need to do for the three pose? We need to glue our foot with our pretend glue. Pretend that we have a glue and you're going to take your left foot and glue. And you here, you need to bring all your weight to your left side. Here you go. Okay. Thank you, I did it. Yes. And now you can bring this right leg. Okay. Keep your right leg. And you can place here. Level one. Here. Level two. Or here. Level three. Well, wait. The important thing is. Oh. Just keep your balance. Doesn't matter what level you are in. Level one is amazing. Level two is super good. And level three is fantastic. When you try to open your chest and bring your belly in, engage your core, and try to find your balance. And when you feel ready, you can open the branch of your tree. Remember that you are a strong tree. When you are strong, nothing happens. If it's windy and you are like a strong, strong root, nothing it's happens. Just now bring your hands close to your chest again and you can close your eyes for three seconds. One. <laughs> Be careful. Two. Three. Three. Yeah. Now it's gonna do one or three from this pose or oh, airplane. You need to bring your knee like 90 degrees, and now you wanna extend your right leg back and bring your torso lower, like a letter T, capital T. Inhale and extend. If you want to open your <laughs> wings, you can open your wings and stay here. If your back or legs hurt, you're gonna do child pose, but you have to do the other exercises. So you can stay in child pose for like a few seconds, like five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. You get back up. And now you need to shake your legs, shake your legs, march, 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 and bring your knees. Knees apart. Side. Now, we need to the, do the other side. The other side. I'm going to do now your right foot to the mat. The other oh, yeah. foot. Do. And bring all your weight to your right side. You're going to spread your toes and you can bring your left foot. Level one, level two, two or level three. three. 
and keep your balance. Open your chest. Inhale and exhale. Bring your hands close to your chest. Three is hard for me right now. If you lose your balance, you're going to be able to. Inhale and exhale. And now you can open your branch. And when the hair move center to side. Why is that one hard for me? And you can place your hands again and close your eyes for three, two, one. Good job. And now let's gonna go for warrior three or airplane. Bring your chest lower, extend your left leg. Extend, flex your toes. Inhale if you need to open your wings. You can open like an airplane. And stay okay. here. Inhale and exhale. One, if you need to rest, two, go to try and pose. Three, five seconds. Four, five, back up. Ah, very slowly bring your knee to the front of your room and shake. Me. Inhale and exhale. your forehead close to the mat and do deep inhalations, deep exhalations, deep inhalations, deep exhalations, inhale and exhale. And very slowly, let's now walk your hands. 
So your knees, so this one I do stress and I'll come camel pose. Okay, this one up. Miss Daniela, what's that? Today. Okay, the camel pose, you need to prop your toes. Okay. And you need to bring your pelvis forward, mm -hmm. open your chest, and then you need to try to get your heels. Open your chest, bring Look your down. pelvis forward. Inhale and exhale. Now, good job. This is never. Mm -hmm. And if you want a little more, you can on top of your toes. You can cross if you want. Relax and reach your heels. Open your chest and bring your pelvis forward. Do it. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Oh, um, very slow. A little back one hand first. The other. I just want to do shoulder stands or candle pose. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Your shoulders. This one up. Lay down in your back and you want to bring your hips up. You can place your hands like a cup case in your spine, your lower back. Oh. And you're going to stay here. Don't move your neck. Pointing your toes. Be straight. Bring your pelvis forward. Don't move your neck. Look to the ceiling. And if you want to play like a scissors, you can do a scissors. Inhale and exhale. You can pretend you're sitting down. That's easy. You can open your legs to your sides. Like a split. Oh, sorry. Okay. Or you can bring your knees close to your ears. Inhale and exhale. And extend your legs. And this one, bring your hips down one vertebra at a time. Place your hands on the floor. And this one, bring them back. Only one vertebra at a time, slowly. Inhale and exhale. Good job. Inhale and exhale. Slowly. Slowly. And do you know what pose do you need to do after shoulder side? Fish pose? Fish pose. There's one other fish pose, okay? I use... love fish pose. You need to place your forearms on the mat. Open your chest, extend your legs. And you, wanna, you need to connect your head to the floor. You need to try to open your chest. And do this. This is the contrapose for shoulder stand. And when you are here, you can open your mouth and you can bring your tongue out like a lion. Like, ah, ah. One more time. Ah, good job. Now you can press in your mouth, bring your knees close to your chest, from your knees, move side to side. And now it's going to drop your knees to your left side. Open your right arm and look to your right hand. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And now bring your knees close to your chest. Hug your knees and bring your knees close to your right side and look to your left hand. Little inhalation, little exhalation. Inhale and exhale. And now it's going to bring your knees close to your chest. And it's going to do happy baby pose. You need to place your foot parallel to the ceiling and you're going to take here outside and you're going to move side to side. Inhale and exhale. Deep inhalation, deep exhalation. Inhale and exhale. Stay here. Ah, massage your lower back. Inhale and exhale. Now you can extend your legs. And let's want to do some 10, only 10 abs. Let's want to tap with your fingers, okay? Okay. Extend your legs. Let's want to do like one, seven, nine, nine, eight, 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 
seven, six,